this whole bag is full of makeup. Yeah, it is. We, there's this new like makeup line at Walmart that's like literally everything is 97 cents. 97 cents. I mean, this, this, this whole bag, if I can pick it up right, this whole bag full of stuff. It cost me maybe like 10, 15 bucks. I'm shook. I'm shook at them. So, we're gonna see if this stuff is really worth the 97 cents. And go from there. First I got, I got a brow pencil and I, I never use brow pencils, but I mean, we can see what it does. So, we'll do that. There is a brow pencil. This is, it is called In Studio Cosmetics. So there's the brow pencil. We'll do with that. We got a felt tip eyeliner. Um, look, even a setting spray. We got us a setting spray, a highlighter. We got a bronzer, even though I hardly ever use it, but just because. Um, I got like one, two, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, we got five different eyeshadows, like they don't have palettes, they're just like single shadows, so we got these, oh I don't mean to be flipping y'all, <laughs> we got these, and we got these. And then we've got this. It's really pretty. So, and there's still more. I got, look how cute and tiny this is. This is a hydrating primer. So we've got that. <coughs> still got more. I couldn't decide. So, I got a matte lip cream and then a lipstick. They look similar in color, but they're different names. And so, We'll swatch everything. We'll see about everything. And I also got, oh, mascara. We got mascara. And then we also got lip gloss. So, you know what? We're going to see what it's all about. So, stay tuned. We are finally back after unboxing everything. Seems like it took 90 years. Okay, I'm going to be honest. The smell of these products kind of give me the heebie-jeebies. So, but we're, we're, we're going to do it anyway. I mean, this is what we do. So, I am going to prime my eyes and we are going to get this started after we do swatches. So, I had to get this yellow eyeshadow. Like, it was speaking to me. Okay. This one is called Ochre. O C H R E. I, I guess that's how you spell it. I'm not, I wasn't the best at spelling. So, this is what it looks like when you open it. Alright, let's dip in the. Ooh, it feels pretty good oh oh kind of chalky can you see that yeah ugh. let's let's try it out oh okay that's not too terribly bad actually all right next one we're gonna do is meteorite this was a really pretty shimmer color let's try this one oh feel nice can't even really tell I didn't eat anything to the pan. And there it is on my finger. So, oops. Oh, whoa. Wow. All right, next is another shimmer. It's called Spark. Let's try this one out. They feel really nice for like really low price point makeup kind of shook holy crap not gonna lie I'm kind of shook all right and the next one is bubbly I could have swore I would gotten more that were that wasn't like so shimmery but I was kind of in a hurry today so excuse, excuse me mister are you gonna open or think about it okay oh that one feels really nice too <laughs> not really good with pinky swatches Ooh, that's like a really pretty highlight color <sighs> all 
All right, and last but not least, we have spice. Mm. <sighs> Feels okay. Let's put spice right here. Those aren't too bad. No, they're not really bad at all. <sighs> Especially the shimmers. They're pretty freaking awesome. So I'm going to try to use all these today. So, Okay, now we're primed. So, we're going to take our BH Cosmetics number 6 brush. And let's see, let's dip into this color right here. This is Spice. We're gonna just use this as our transition shade. Ooh, now it does have a lot of kickback in the pan, but I mean, it don't really bother me too much that it does, so. Let's see how this goes. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Not freaking bad, okay? I'm actually pretty freaking impressed. I mean, is it high end quality? No, but I mean, for something that's 97 cents, it's not too bad. And it blends out pretty good. I can't believe that. I was not expecting that. I was expecting it to be patchy the house. Okay. That's cute. Don't really care for brown colors, but it's cute. Let me do the other eye. Okay, so I just realized I pretty much, you know, only got one other matte color because I'm an idiot. I thought I grabbed more, but I guess not. So, you know what? I think I'm still going to try a shimmer in the crease, even though I really don't like doing that. But, I mean, we really don't have any other options at this point. So, I'm going to go in with Spark and put this in my crease. So, we'll see how this goes. It kind of it really didn't pick up. I don't know how much it really picked up on this brush. So. Well, we'll see. We'll see. see the sparkle but I can't really see which the color does kind of go with the other one so why are you where you at girlfriend there it is you can see it but not too terrible much of a difference this one this one's clean ah Let's see. All right, we're gonna try to put on ochre on the lid and see how this goes. It's probably gonna be terrible. Well, it picks up pretty good on the brush, but I mean, it when you tap off the excess, it and it's a lot falling out in the pan. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So, like I said, as long as it works fine, I don't care about fallout. So let's see how it does on the lid. As I expected it's not much at all like at all at all like it probably looks okay on the camera but mm -hmm. mm -mm. man this ain't working let's try with our finger and see how it does on the eye whoa fallout city See that fallout? This is why I never do my foundation on my face makeup before my eyes. Now that it, it looks good when it's packed on there like that, but oh, so, I mean, this is what it looks like when you pack it on. It's not too terribly bad, but I mean, it's already like kind of trying to fade off already. But um, I mean, 
it's cute for 97 cent makeup so and also I had a crap ton of fallout right here when I used my finger so had to clean that up real quick before my sister decided to come walking in so I'm gonna do the other eye and with bubbly for our highlight <coughs> see how good this one does. Please don't disappoint me. Ooh. Oh, she's cute. You know, she's kind of subtle, but that's okay. That's pretty. Her, uh, eyeshadow, I mean, ugh. Is this it? Yeah, they have a gel eyeliner. That's the mechanical. I got it the other day, so I'm gonna use it. Hey, I mean it's pretty. It's pretty good. This is what it looks like. We just pretty good. Now let's do some under eye. I'm going to use the last color that we have. With my pencil brush from BH Cosmetics, the number 10. My fave. And we're going to go in with Meteorite. So let's see what, what it does. Okay. I mean, is it the best? No, but it's also not the worst. Um, we're going to try to do the top liner just because I bought this um felt tip liner. So let's see how it does on our hand first. Oh lord, that feels kind of hard. <laughs> that didn't sound right. Oof. Oh god, I'm probably not going to like this, but we'll try it anyway and see how it goes, I guess. Wish me luck. Oh yeah, this is definitely not going to work. Whoever approved this, you're fired. This sucks. Bad. Ugh. Okay. More to the review. Let's let's use the mascara. Let's see how this does and hope to God that it's not that bad. Let's see what we got. Oh, God. I almost poked my eye out. I poked your eye out, kid. Okay, um. Where's the. Okay, yeah, I see like nothing. I mean, you can see a little bit on it, but come on. How did this stuff even get approved? Okay, we're not even gonna use this. This this sucks, you can't even tell I'm putting it on. I put like 500 coats on, so you know what? We're going to my tried and true. My Belief Beauty from Dollar General. It's only $4.50 and it beats the hell out of this. So, I mean, I wasn't expecting no, you know, MAC or any high end from these make this makeup. But, I mean, come on. If you're going to have makeup in a store, especially somewhere like Walmart or whatever, don't you think that you should at least be... 
you know, somewhat good? Apparently not. Oh, if I want to try the liquid lip or the other one, so let's swatch both of them. Oh my god, y'all, this smells like this straight up smells like a, a, a freaking crayon. Let's see how it swatches. Oh, good lord, it's pretty. I mean, but like it feels so like I don't know, it just feels you, you can tell it's 97 cents. All right, and this is uh, this is called Vintage Petal. Oh, the other one was called Undressed. So let's see what this looks like next to it. Oh my God, this smells just as bad, if not worse. Oh, oh. So there's that color. Actually, I think I like the lipstick better. So we'll put it on and see what she looks like. Uh, it's gonna be one of those that's sheer. Well, let's put the lipstick on first, then put the that on. <clears throat> Let's put the lipstick on first and then put the other one on because that was sheer As hell Okay yeah. It's drying down pretty quick You can definitely tell it's not a Jeffree Star formula. I mean, it, it's pretty. I mean, if you're on a low budget, uh, yeah. if you're on a very low budget and everything, I mean, it'll it'll be cool for you. You know, something you can afford. So, all right, we're gonna put this lipstick over the matte lipstick. <laughs> that really don't look too swell. Let's put the lip gloss over it. Oh. That's pretty. Oh, okay, yeah, that's not pretty. <laughs> be okay. I probably won't even use this again. So, that's fine. Okay, so what do you think? Does that look freaky? <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, um... We got two more things to try out. So let's do it. We have the hydrating primer and we have the setting spray so let's get to it okay um let's try this primer it don't even have any directions or nothing it just says made in china okay so it comes out clear like this so let's see how this does. Mm. Feels okay. Uh, ow, my nose ring. Um, yeah. Made my skin shiny. Take my nose ring out. Okay, so let me put a little bit more on my nose because my nose does not like 
foundation at all. Okay, it's kind of tingling. Not really tingling. It's kind of just... I don't know. You can tell it's there. It's not really sticky. I mean, it kind of is, but it's not really. Okay, so what I do, my skin's dry, so I usually go in with setting spray on top of primer. So we're going to try this little fella. He's so cute. So... <sighs> okay, ready? Ugh. Oh God, that. Mm. I'm I'm trying to think of what that smell smells like. It smells like freaking like hydrogen peroxide mixed with freaking rubbing alcohol. All right, this color may be too dark on me, but it's one in the closest reach right now. I don't care. I'm not going out. It's like 11 o'clock at night. We're just testing this stuff out. So I'm going to use my Born This Way. Uh, bleh. My Too Faced Born This Way um, foundation in seashell. I think it's kind of too dark for me, but like I said, I don't care. Dude, my nephew has Elf on the Shelf, and it's been like so much freaking fun, like playing with him with that stupid elf he named him tiny and it's like the cutest thing ever but tiny is always getting into everything like my brother-in-law has it so rigged it's so freaking hilarious i love it he bought um one of those lol you know those um lol doll things well it was like a a bathroom set that had a toilet and he got tiny in there and like uh he had melted some chocolate and made it look like he pooped in the toilet and he used his toothbrush oh my god it was it's freaking hilarious <sighs> okay mm. let's see if maybe oh poop i forgot about the bronzer okay we can still we can still use it we can still make it work let's see Here's the bronzer in Rio. Let's try it with this brush. Oh, it coated the brush really good. Oh, lower fallout city. Oh, my God. Let's use it just, I mean, where I already did it, but you can't really tell. I... Whoa, mama. Holy Jesus. Okay, that abort, abort, abort. Mm-mm. Oh, good God. Oh, no, honey. What is you doing? Mm-mm. Okay, um. Needless to say, it freaking works. Good gosh. Okay, so as I was saying before, before I jacked up my decent looking makeup, <laughs> we're going to do um, the highlighter dry on one side and then I'm going to um, spray my setting spray and then we're going to see what it looks like um, on top of setting spray. So here's the highlighter. It's called Champagne Glow. Love it name I don't really have any highlighting brushes I just kind of go with the flow this is gonna be this is some morphe brush I don't know what it is I got in a set so it don't say what it is so, I mean this is what it is all right so let's try okay it picks up a good amount let's try the left this side without the setting spray Oh, okay. I see you. That's real pretty. Oh, wow. I like that a lot, actually. That's really pretty. Look here, hair. Okay, that's pretty. All right, now, let's do a scent and spray. And do this side. Oh, God. 
I don't know why I did that. I did it for you guys. Okay, so let's go in with the same brush, same thing, and go in on this side and see what it looks like. <gasps> you guys. Oh, well. My God. Y'all. Holy moly. That's freaking stunning. I mean, both sides are, but wow. That's beautiful. Okay, so I think that it is safe to say. I wish that these brushes would go back in here. I think it's safe to say that uh, nothing from this collection was really good. Except for obviously the brown, the bronzer has some freaking pigment the highlighter was freaking amazing actually the shimmers weren't too bad like the you know these were pretty good um but like the primer the 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 not the felt tip liner but the other one was eh, it's, it's okay and uh, the lipsticks the lip no so, I mean, is it worth the money? Maybe a little bit if you're on an extreme budget. But if not, sometimes it don't hurt to spend a little bit more money on stuff that you know will work. So, if you guys have any questions, if you've got anything, let me know down below. Freaking really? Come here. Here. Bro, get your ass out of this freaking box. Is it glued in there? My god, it must have been glued or something. Let's see what the wand looks like. Ooh. Oof. That's probably gonna last me like Smooth mail. <laughs> Where are you? There you are. Okay. This mirror needs Jesus. I know my camera battery ain't low already. The fuck? Okay, this is definitely not gonna work. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell was that? Oh shit, I'm already breaking my damn desk. Okay. Oh shit, that messed me up really. Ugh. I think the last time my eyeliner was this thick, I was in freaking high school. Jesus. Should we even attempt a wing with this? I mean, it looks so stupid. Ugh. Oh. Like it just drags. Yeah, whoever approved this, you need your ass beat. This sucks.